Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates. Today I wanted to talk about what was arguably one of the best tar cards available in the beta, but that has now been nerfed into oblivion, the cycler rifle. I want to highlight the changes made to it from the beta and kind of show you what you can expect of it right now if you haven't unlocked it yet. The Cycler Rifle is one of the two Sniper Star Cards available in Star Wars Battlefront, but it is very different compared to the Pulse Cannon that I talked about in an earlier video. This Star Card is available at rank 28 and has a 15 second base cooldown and 10 seconds when you upgrade it. The Cycler Rifle fires a solid projectile which means that it can penetrate personal and squad shields as opposed to all weapons based on lasers. The damage model has not been changed since the beta and the Cycler Rifle still does 90% damage with all body shots and one shots enemies if you hit them in the head. The huge difference compared to the beta though is that the bullet travel time has been decreased a lot and the bullet drop off has instead been increased a lot. This makes the Cycler Rifle extremely hard to hit with. And if someone is moving, just forget about it, you'll be lucky just to get a body shot. In the beta the bullet actually had a faster travel time than the lasers and only had a slight drop off, which made it very effective at taking out people standing still and camping at long ranges and you did actually have a chance to hit people who were running as well. Another reason to why it was so popular in the beta was simply because so few other star cards actually existed and it was the only sniper card available. What I find funny is that the pulse cannon can now do exactly what the cycler rifle did but even better. It one shots no matter where you hit on the body and people are not complaining about that like some people did with the cycler rifle in the beta. I think the best comparison we can do just to show how bad it is is to actually compare it to the standard T21B blaster which is the primary blaster that is most alike a sniper rifle. Just by taking a look at the travel speed we can see how nerfed the cycler rifle is. Right now the cycler rifle has a velocity of 300 meters per second whereas the T21B and most other blasters actually have a 500 meter per second velocity. Meaning that just speaking about velocity the T21B will be a lot easier to hit with at longer ranges, especially on moving targets. On top of that None of the blasters has a bullet drop like the cycler rifle has and as you can see the bullet drop is quite heavy with the cycler rifle which is just another reason to why it's so hard to hit with right now. If we speak about the damage only that's pretty much the only thing that speaks for the cycler rifle and that's still very minimal. The T21B actually kills enemies in 3 hits or 2 hits if one of them are in the head whereas the cycler rifle requires 1 shot to the head or 2 to the body. And while you do of course have to keep in mind that the cycler rifle has a 15 second cooldown for one shot whereas the T21B has no cooldown and you can just spam it as long as you control the overheat. Meaning that if you land two hits on the row you can kill an enemy in a matter of seconds. I think you're starting to understand my point right now. No matter how good you are with the cycler rifle and handling its drop off and delay it will still never be better than the pulse cannon or even the T21B at longer ranges unless they patch it again. I've basically only been using the cycler rifle to try and get clips for this video and just to get cool clips overall. The only time where the cycler rifle is actually good is at stationary targets such as people sitting in turrets. And even then it can be a little bit tricky to actually land a headshot unless you've had a lot of practice time to handle the drop off. Another thing I find to be very negative is that the cycler rifle has very little zoom which is just another thing that makes it very hard to use at longer ranges. Well I do have some good news, I did ask the gameplay director about it and he said that it, it was on his to do list for a future patch so we will be getting a change to it in the future. But how can they actually fix the cycler rifle? Well in my opinion I didn't think it was too OP in the beta. I think it, they could basically roll it back to how it was in the beta, I mean compared to the pulse cannon and to the T21B it is not overpowered or something like that. But I would understand if they don't just want it to be the exact same way. So what they could do in that case is to either make it a one shot kill all over the body. In that case it would sort of be okay with the current drop off and delay even though it's still gonna be pretty hard to hit. Otherwise I think they should just keep the very minimal drop off from the beta but still have the quite slow speed it has right now as it would mean that you only have to compensate for the speed and not the extreme drop off as well. Well that wraps up this video, now you should know what to expect from the cycler rifle in the full game and hopefully you won't get surprised when you realize that it's been nerfed a lot from the beta. The good news are as I said though that they are working on improving it for a future patch. However if you guys get any cool cycler rifle kills make sure to send them into my top 5 plays as we all know how hard it is to get kills with it right now. Anyways thank you guys for watching, make sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and as always may the force be with you.